हेलो फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस टू इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स ऑफ सेमी कंडक्टर्स दैट इज द चार्ज बैलेंस इक्वेशन एंड द लॉ ऑफ मास एक्शन यू हैव लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज एंड गेट फ्रॉम दीज टॉपिक्स सो लेट एस स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट टॉपिक दैट इज चार्ज बैलेंस इक्वेशन फॉर एक्सट्रेंजिक सेमी कंडक्टर दिस इज फॉर एक्सट्रेंजिक सेमी कंडक्टर्स रिमेंबर लेट एस विजुअलाइज द टाइप्स ऑफ चार्जेज इन सेमी कंडक्टर्स दैट इज एक्सट्रेंजिक सेमी कंडक्टर्स इन वैलेंस बैंड वट डू वी हैव वी हैव द होल्स होल हैज द पॉजिटिव चार्ज इन मैग्नीट्यूड इक्वल टू द चार्ज ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉन देन वी हैव नेगेटिव बाउंड चार्ज we have seen in case of extrinsic semiconductors if you remember if you draw the energy level diagram we have the valence band then here we have the acceptor energy level this is highest level of valence band then we have conduction band that is lowest level of conduction band and then we have the donor energy level this is what we have seen in the previous lecture here valence band consists of holes acceptor level when when acceptor level accepts electron from this to this level you will find negative bound charges why because once acceptor impurity takes electron it will not release that electron because it is having that tendency and this will result into formation of negative bound charge at acceptor level similarly at donor level you have positive bound charge reason being the electrons from donor level jump to the conduction band what is left behind the positive bound charge of donor impurity the donor impurity has tendency to leave its electron it will it will not take back so it will be having the positive bound charge and here we have electrons so if i consider a semiconductor say n type semiconductor i'll take first n type semiconductor so for n type semiconductor what do we have we have the donor impurity we have the valence band we have the conduction band we don't have this level so what are the number of holes in the valence band p and that has positive charge remember the semiconductor is always electrically neutral it does not have any charge when you talk about semiconductor as a whole so the total positive charge must be equal to the total negative charge that is known as charge balance so in case of n type material we have holes in valence band we have positive bound charges at donor level we have electrons in conduction band so the total positive charge here is holes multiplied by the charge of each hole this is equal to now the charge of do plus not rather equal plus this is the one po positive charge in valence band what is positive charge at donor level that is e into nd positive charge total positive charge in valence band total positive charge at donor level and it must be equal to the total number of electrons in the conduction band that is n so this gives and multiplied by e charge of electron so this gives the total positive charge inside the n type material is equal to total negative charge and this is known as charge balance equation donor level and this will be having positive charge conduction band has negative charge so total charge must be equal similarly if you talk about p type materials in p type materials what do we have or p type semiconductors what do we have we don't have donor level we have only acceptor level acceptor level attains the acceptor impurity attains the negative charge why because electron from valence band jumps to this level and it will be having negative charge overall so 
the total positive charge in valence band must be equal to negative charge at acceptor level plus negative charge as conduction band. Now, I repeat it again. Total charge, the semiconductor is basically electrically neutral. So, total positive charge must be equal to total negative charge. So, here, now, the total positive charge in valence band is equal to total negative charge at acceptor level and that is nothing but E into number of acceptor impurities plus electrons in the conduction band. So multiplied by E. So this gives P is equal to acceptor impurities plus electrons. So this is another balance equation. Now there is a third category as well. Sometimes you have a semiconductor known as compensated semiconductor. A compensated semiconductor is one which has both types of impurities, N type as well as P type. So let us see the charge balance equation for compensated semiconductor. That is nothing but the semiconductor having both types of impurities. So in that case, we have positive charge in valence band, negative bound charge at acceptor level, I'm sorry, positive, uh, yeah, negative bound charge at acceptor level, positive bound charge at donor level and negative charge in the conduction band. So now the total positive charge that is equal to E multiplied by number of holes in the valence band plus E multiplied by donor impurity. This is the total positive charge inside the semiconductor that is compensated semiconductor must be equal to total negative charge at acceptor level E into Na plus the total negative charge in conduction band. So that is E into and E will be cancelling out. So P plus Nd must be equal to an A plus small n. So this is another equation, important equation. So now there is interesting mechanism here. We have both types of impurities in the semiconductor. If you have both types of impurities, then how will we identify whether it is N type or P type? So there are three important cases. Remember, this was the case of what? Compensated semiconductor. Compensated semiconductor means the semiconductor which has both types of impurities. So now I'll be talking about three cases. Case one, case one, when N A is more than N D, it means acceptor concentration is more than donor concentration. The semiconductor, the semiconductor compensated semiconductor rather compensated semiconductor behaves like behaves like what that is p type semiconductor p type semiconductor so when acceptor impurity is more it behaves like p type semiconductor case 2 when nd is greater than na and it is very much clear from here when ND is greater than NA, it behaves like donor, uh, it behaves like N type material because number of electrons in conduction band are more than the number of holes in the valence band. So here it will be behaves like what? I will be writing in short, behaves like N type semiconductor. Then case 3, case 3 is what? if nd is equal to na if concentration in electrons and holes is same but not at intrinsic level it is more than that reason b is because of impurities concentrations are not same as intrinsic level but concentration of electrons or holes are equal in that case we call it the we call the behavior like intrinsic semiconductor so here behaves like it behaves like intrinsic semiconductor. So these are the three important cases you should remember. I may be taking 
this topic again in law of mass action but you should understand the concept of compensated semiconductors this can be uh, important topic for one mark questions and for engineering services there can be question in engineering services now let us talk about the another important topic that is known as law of mass action and there are plenty of numericals in gate and engineering services from this topic that is law of mass action according to law of mass action remember the product of electrons and holes in extrinsic semiconductors is always fixed a constant so as per law of mass action and that is concentration of electrons multiplied by concentration of holes is equal to an i square this is very important equation you should remember this equation as per law of mass action the product of concentration of electrons in the conduction band concentration of holes in the valence band is equal to an i square now we'll be discussing three cases here case one for case one let us talk about n type semiconductors for n type semiconductors we have we have already seen what is the concentration of electrons the concentration of uh, 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 electrons is equal to if you remember that is the intrinsic level concentration intrinsic level concentration means whatever was the concentration of charge carriers before doping i'll say an i plus the electrons due to donor concentration and this is just for your understanding although when you increase the donor concentration what happens when you dope the semiconductor with donor impurity the charge carriers in the conduction band increases when charge carriers in the concentra concentration uh, charge carrier concentration in conduction band increases you have more electrons for recombination with holes in the valence band so effectively the concentration of holes in the valence band reduces below the intrinsic level because of what because of increased recombination rate so this is not precisely equal to ni slightly less than ni but just for mathematical understanding you i'll be taking ni but there can be question in uh, especially in engineering services that concentration of holes in the valence band reduces below intrinsic level in n type semiconductors because of increased recombination rate that can be a statement based question in engineering services now for n type materials the, the donor concentration is assumed to be much much more than ni that is our assumption so this gives the concentration of electrons is almost equal to nd so now here from this equation say this is equation one so if you put n here what do we get and d and now as per law of mass action if you apply this equation so if you apply law of mass action and d into p is equal to n i square so this gives the concentration of minority carriers that is holes in valence band will be equal to and i square by and d this is what you have that is concentration of holes in the valence band fine so and d is not equal to n i so p is equal not equal to n i and d is much more than n i so definitely p will be less than n i that is what i explained the concentration of holes in the valence band reduces the below reduces below the intrinsic level now i'll take the case two remember this equation this is very important you will have lot of numericals on this i'll be taking the examples for but you should remember this equation directly 
Now, let us take another case that is p-type materials. In case of p-type materials, we have the acceptor impurity, then we have holes in this and electrons in the conduction band. So, the concentration of holes will be equal to the intrinsic level plus acceptor impurity here. Again, an A is considered to be much, much greater than an I. So, I will be taking here P approximately equal to an A. Here, it will be nothing but an A into N. And it will be equal to concentration of electrons in conduction band equal to an I square by an A. Again, see this. In case of p-type materials, the concentration of electrons in the conduction band falls below the intrinsic level, which is very much evident from this equation. Here, Na is much, much greater than Ni. If Na is greater than Ni, so this will be definitely less than Ni. So, concentration of electrons in conduction band falls below the intrinsic level because of increased recombination rate. That can be another one mark question in gate and maybe objective type question in prelims of engineering services. Now let us take the third case. Third case is nothing but compensated semiconductors. It's compensated semiconductors. So in case of compensated semiconductors we have already seen depending upon the level of the impurities you have to take the consider the type of semiconductors. Let us take one case that is <coughs> say the acceptor level is the uh, uh, acceptor level is much much greater than the donor donor concentration. So the acceptor concentration is much much more than the donor concentration. So in that case material is behaving like P type materials. So if it is behaving like P type materials so material is what? Material behaves like P type material. So in that case concentration of holes will be approximately equal to an A minus and D. That is the level of uh, concentration in of holes in valence band. So in that case N will be equal to an I square upon an A by an A minus an D. That is concentration of electrons in the conduction band. For compensated semiconductors, this is important equation. You should remember. There can be question numerical on this. So concentration of holes is approximately equal to this an A minus an D. And in that case, we have like this. So now Case 2, this is uh, again say uh, case A kahi isko, say this is case A. Now, let us take about the case 2. In case 2, I will be taking less case B rather, and D is much much greater than an A. Then materials behave, the material behaves like N type, the concentration of electrons will be N D minus N A. Fine. So, in that case, the concentration of holes will be N D minus N A. That is what you have to take. So, these are the two cases. Third case, that is intrinsic N D is equal to N A. So, concentration is directly obtained. That is N I plus N A, N I plus N D. But uh, you don't have any questions or concept on that. So, the, here we have two sub cases in compensated that is case A and case B. I hope you will remember all these equations because you have lot of questions on these formulas, these expressions. So uh, now I will be taking example on the law of mass action. So basically for taking the examples we will be needing calculator so in, and that will be uh, consuming time so instead of uh, taking questions on board i'll be taking directly questions on the pdf file stored in my laptop so i'll be giving you the examples directly from there okay